Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We are in a new unit. Uh, we are going to talk about integer addition and subtraction. Essentially adding positive and negative numbers together, subtracting uh, positive and negative numbers. Uh, it is a little bit different than what we've done and we want to make sure we're all on the same page with positive and negative numbers. Let's hop right in to the first one. You have it, I have it. It is minus 25 minus minus 70. And I have uh, a rule in my head that when you're taking away something negative, that's actually a good thing. That turns into positive. So as a reminder, when you're subtracting a negative, that's actually adding. So we can rewrite this as minus 25 plus 70. These two negatives turn into plus 70. Now, uh, if we have a number line, with you know zero here minus 25 is this way that means that um, we are going to be adding 70 we're going to go, be going this way and it's more than 25 so that means it's going to end up being a positive number uh, so one thing we can do is we can just flip these around and subtract 25 from 70 uh, we could also count our way up either are valid but we're starting at minus 25 and we're going towards the positive direction uh, let's do 70 minus 25 to get what we will end up with. Uh, I'm going to borrow because I cannot take from 0. So 10 minus 5 is 5, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So that means that we would end up at positive 45, uh, somewhere over there, something like that. So this is our answer. Remember, when we have a negative, subtract a negative. Uh, when we're subtracting a negative, it turns positive. That is a key. Let's go to another one. Let's do minus 8. Ooh, sorry. You know what? New piece of paper. And a new color. We have 8 subtract a negative 98. This is the same as the last one, except we have a positive number first. When we're subtracting a negative, it's positive. So we can rewrite this as 8 plus 98. Uh, you could stack them on top of each other and do the addition, uh, or we could just, you know, move this up 8. That would be 106. So the answer to this one is 106. All right, let's do another one. We have 66 minus 76. And this one's a, a little bit tricky, actually, because we're going to be moving into the negative side. And there is really no good way to stack these on top of each other and subtract them. Um, for example, we have 66 on top minus 76. The first is OK. 6 minus 6 is 0. But we can't subtract 7 from 6 and we have nothing to borrow from. So it's really important that we recognize where we are in the number line and where we're going. So if we have our number line, and we're gonna call this zero, we've got 66 over here where we're starting and we're subtracting 76. So we're moving to the left, we're going this way, and the number that we're subtracting is larger than the number, so we are going to be going past zero. We're going to be going past zero. So if I take 66 away from 76, uh, the other way around from this, I'm going to be left with 10. And that means I need to go 10 more steps towards the negative side to get where I would need to be. So this answer is negative 10. So I took 66 away from 76 and found out what was left over, which was clearly 10. If you guys have questions about this, please let me know. Um, some of it is some just some practice getting used to where we're going with the number line, where we're starting, and the direction that we're headed, and knowing whether we need to be on one side of the number line or the other. Let's go to uh, some of these operations with decimals. We have first, sorry, there we go, 34.05 subtract a negative 38.37. Okay, so 34 is positive and we're subtracting a negative. So that means that these two are going to come together to be addition. So 34.05 plus 38.37 
That works for me. Let's stack them on top of each other and do the math. 34.05 plus 38.37. When we're adding numbers with decimals, we just bring the decimal down uh, into the same position that it is in the other numbers here. So 5 plus 7 is 12. Let's 1 plus, we put the 1 over there. This is 12. 0 plus 3 is 3. So we're going to add that later. Uh, we have our decimal. Then we have 4 plus 8. Uh, that is 12, so again, we're going to carry. And 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Um, sorry, I didn't add those up yet. So 6, we're going to go ahead and add again. 2, 4, 2, 7. That is our answer. That is our answer for uh, adding this decimal. And I know it looked a little bit interesting at the beginning, minus a minus, but we are just following integer rules. Let's do the next one, 13.15 plus 21. And if you think this is easy, please pause, go ahead and um, move forward, and uh, you can skip through later and see if you got the right answer. So let's do 13.15, and this is just straight up addition, so I'm just gonna stack it immediately. Uh, 21.0, and I'm gonna add two decimal places just to make it consistent. I've got my decimal, five plus zero is five, one plus zero is one. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 1 plus 2 is 3, just like that. No carrying, no nothing. 34.15 is our answer. I love those types of integers. Let's do one more. So we have minus 36.3 plus a negative 6.2. Okay, so in this case, we are adding a negative and that means that we're just subtracting. Like we're adding something bad, which is, you know, overall not good. So it's minus 36.3 minus 6.2. And I'll draw a number line. If this is zero over here, we're starting at minus 36 on this side, minus 36.3, and we're subtracting 6.2. We're going even farther in that direction. In this case, what we're going to do is we're gonna actually add these numbers together and know that our result is going to be negative. Uh, we are going to get larger in the negative direction. So we have uh, 36.3 and 6.2. I'm gonna add them, and I'm just going to know at the end that the value is negative. Three plus two is five. Six plus six is 12. And then one plus three is four. So we're left with negative 42.5. Uh, we would get more in the negative direction. This makes sense. It's not too far away and we're adding a very small number to it. Um, so when you are moving in the same direction, you're not moving over zero, you can add them. And when you're moving over zero, you can subtract them and just know what sign your value needs to end up as. Again, this is a little bit tricky, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.